Good morning. So, what we have today, it's just a little walk around and showing of, you know, what phones I have and uh, how they work and stuff like that. And everything's connected here. I got a Zero messages. voice message or a answering machine there. First up, we have this very nice. Metal Western Electric 304 and I do know that it is a true 304 because when I first got it it would not dial out whatsoever so I had to go in there and bypass the uh, extra hook switch section in there and it has a nice nice sounding bell to it it's a really nice phone the dial is real smooth the dials real quick nice E1 handset, real big and heavy. Oh, I'm trying to think of what else to say here. It's just a nice phone overall. It's got the original dial center card, um, original cloth cord. Line cord's been replaced, but this is the original cord. It's a little crunchy, but it works. Let's see, where's the microphone on this thing? I don't know if you can hear that or not. Trying to stick the till you can see the shadow. I'm trying to stick the uh, speaker there. Yeah, it's it's pretty early for me, but well, actually not. But yeah. So without further ado, we will give it a little little test here. I'll do two rings because it's it's so early in the morning. I don't want to wake anybody up. We got. Three more phones to go, so sorry neighbors if you can hear this, probably not, but here we go. I just ended the call. Very nice ringer, like I said. So there's that. There's this Western Electric 304. We're going to take a quick field trip. Stairs here into the guest bedroom. To this here, which is the uh, basically the equivalent of the one you saw downstairs, only it's a 302 and no E1 headset, or pff, handset. And the uh, it's pretty crunchy. I gotta go through it and stuff like that, but again, original line cord. And a nice little conversion there. So we're gonna go ahead and ring the line a couple times again. Nice ring on that one. I don't know if you heard it, but got the other other dingling in here, which is next. More classy one here is a uh, Western Electric 202. Again, all original parts, original line cord, stuff like that, with the uh, bell subset. I would open it up, but. I don't have a screwdriver on me right now. It's got the wooden terminal post block in there. It's a pretty neat phone. Dial's real nice and quiet. E1 handset, of course. And be a better recording here of what this guy sounds like. You can hear the other one, of course, now. So there's the 202. And lastly, kind of go to get the shoes on for this one. I come downstairs here. All right. 
into the garage. I believe this is a Western, uh, a Western Electric 354. Let me check the, let me check the Googles. Make sure I'm right here. Three, yep, 354. And this one, this one's from the uh, Haymarket, Chicago area. As you can see in the dial center card there. Focus, please, please. Thank you. There we go. And the dial is pretty good. Just dial the one there. A fancy light here. And this one, we'll give this one a little ring. And as for the call quality or everything like that, it's very clear for all phones speaking. Everything, even the E1 handsets with the uh, carbon granule pickup, very uh, clear. Uh, I'm, most people when they call me say I'm coming through pretty quick, I just have to put my mouth like real close to the spit cup on the E1s because they're, you know, you got to rattle those granules around to I'm going to pick up the sound, but other than that, they are great. I'm most most likely positive that uh, all the old capacitors and everything filter out all the, the noise and stuff that comes from those. And just a little thing here. This is basically a bonus. This is how I got my phone jacks to work again. See that there? See, now that's basically like two converter boxes if you think about it. Those terminals there convert that into a into a jack. Right there, see? Or a cord. And then those posts, you can see right behind those wires, turn that into a jack. But since I have two of them, I was able to separate them here. So that's the incoming wire right there. All those colored ones, they go nowhere. Those two convert that to that. That gives me my my phone and everything here. That runs back up into my phone jacks, which is this wire here. And see, this is the internet there, the blue and that stuff. But yeah, if you've recently had your home redone and the AT&T tech tells you, oh, don't plug, uh, don't plug your phone into the line or back feed or whatever, he's right, don't do it because you'll mess it up. But if you do this, you take that off your lines or take those off your jacks, separate them, because that goes to this while the phone line is being connected again to the jacks. See there? It's plugged into that. It's back feeding that to my phone lines, that gray one that goes to the garage phone and those wires there go to upstairs and all the rest of the phones. But yeah, that's basically a little demo here. I'll I'll dial the time and temp number. Time and temp number didn't work. I think it's let off too early. There. The number you have reached has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Hmm. That's rather odd. Well, 
The only problem is you can't dial, like the way I was dialing, that's how you could dial, but with the new digital DTMF converter I have on there, can't do it as fast as you used to be able to do it, so you have a little space in between that, so I'll try it again. I think you get the idea. That was quite a, a long instance there, but yeah, there's a little a little blooper there. Yeah, of course it's 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 early in the morning, and usually I can get it right on the nose, but yeah. Well, there you go. That's my little collection, and thanks for watching. <laughs>